Yo, what is up guys, today we're doing a video and we're going to be checking out and installing uh, this interesting version of Windows XP called Micro XP. Now the version that I'm going to be installing is uh, Micro XP 0.82 and it's, I think, believe it's the latest version of the uh, operating system. And what it basically is, is basically it's, it's a special modified version of Windows XP shrunk down to a really small size and to really low system requirements. Um, the installer itself is 99.9 .9 megabytes, just under 100 megabytes, meaning you could fit seven of these on a single um, layer CD, which is pretty incredible. Uh, apparently, the installation takes about five minutes and 30 seconds, so we're going to uh, do that today, and we're going to see if we can beat that installation time. Uh, it includes all the drivers, it has um, the latest service pack free um, installed on it uh, already. Um, and it has all of the languages except for Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. Now, this is a stripped-down version of the operating system, so it's going to be really lightweight. Apparently, um, it consumes about 40 megabytes of RAM on the first installation, um, and the total install size is 205 megabytes after it finishes, which is pretty insane, considering that um, the actual requirements for uh, Windows XP, the official version, are quite a bit higher than this. So this means that you can run this on e like really, really low-end computers. So if you want a solution for running on a really um, old computer, which you don't plan on connecting to the internet, because I'll get to that in the end, um, then this is probably quite a good uh, operating system to put on there um, if you can't put anything newer on. All right, so what i got here is I've got a virtual machine running under VMware, and we're going to be testing the install time, and we're going to be just running through that, and then we're going to be checking out the operating system after it's finished done, and we're going to be timing it as well, because remember it said 5 minutes and 30 seconds, which is pretty good for any Windows install, really, but for this stripped-down uh, install, that is what I think uh, could be like quite a high selling point, along with the really low system requirements. So we're going to go ahead and start this up, and we're going to get the VMware logo, and it's going to begin to boot, and the setup's going to inspect our computer. We don't need to install a third-party uh, SCSI driver, so we're just going to leave that. And we don't need to run the automated system recovery, so we'll leave that as well. And we're going to start uh, the Windows setup. All right, so now we're on the install. We're going to choose the unpart. We're going to choose the uh, unpartitioned space, and we're going to format it using NTFS Quick. And it's going to begin to format our eight-gig hard drive which I have allocated on this virtual machine, and it's going to get the formatting done. All right, there we go. And setup is going to inspect the disk to make sure it's all good. And now it's beginning to copy files over. So we can see it's going very quickly over uh, already. So this should be a pretty quick install. And the goal of 5 minutes 30 seconds is looking pretty hopeful already. So it's going to wait for this to finish up. You can see it's just copying all the system files over down at the bottom right. And there we go. And it should just uh, load all the information files now and restart the computer. All right, so this is a much more familiar Windows XP uh, loading screen, um, which we all, we all know and love. And it should continue with the rest of installs, such as loading the drivers and setting up the networks and stuff. So we'll just wait for that now. Just got a blank screen at the moment, so we're gonna, ah, here we go. So here's the uh, like custom uh, boot, um, custom boot screen uh, made by Experience, who's the guy who made this who made this modded version of Windows XP, you see it saying, please wait, probably just loading all the services ready for the uh, rest of the install. You can see we haven't got any themes right now, because we're still uh, we're still rocking the current installer theme, so I'm wondering if it's going to have the uh, default Windows XP theme, or we're going to be running a much more Windows 2000-esque one once we uh, get into the operating system. Alright, so here we are, um, uh, just detecting and installing drivers and stuff for all the hardware. I'm interested to see how this goes, because uh, we're actually running this under a virtual machine, not an actual computer, so... I wonder if it's actually going to pick up the drivers, or it's going to have to resort to using the Windows uh, generic ones. So you can see it's going pretty quick, so... Um, the time on the clock's looking pretty good for 5 minutes 30 seconds right now. Well, it seems to come to, have, like, uh, come to a stop right now, I'm not sure what it's doing here. If it hangs on here much longer, we're losing time. You can see the uh, disk activity indicators going away though on my VM, so it does mean something's going on. Alright, so we got the little uh, loading symbol and the bar has begun to move a bit more, so it looks like we're going to be finishing up this section pretty soon, I hope. 
so we can uh, get into the operating system nice and quick. And there we go, we appear to be done. So if, uh, oh, the Nexus skipped itself. Assume that's because this is a uh, unattended installer, so it requires little to no user input at all, apart from the uh, choosing the drive partitions at the beginning. So it's just installing the uh, networking components now, such as the I'm um, assuming the uh, Ethernet drivers, and setting up the rest of the networks. Shouldn't be too much of a lengthy process. And there we go. That's done, or just about. It's really hanging on to this uh, Windows installing network components part. Doesn't want to give up just to, to yet. Alright, there we go. So now we're uh, into the final tasks of the install. Installing the start menu, registering the DLLs, um, saving the settings and removing any of the installer files. So this should be a pretty quick process. And after it's done we should be able to get into uh, Micro XP and check out the performance and all uh, its, uh, its features. So we've just come to the end now of the uh, Windows or rather Micro XP install, and I've just uh, got a black screen right now. Oh, looks like the uh, computer's rebooting, and we're greeted again by the Windows XP boot logo. I'm loading up for the first time now, after the install. And it's starting up all these services for the first time. Pretty normal for uh, my, uh, Windows XP, any Windows XP install. So now we've just got to wait for Micro SP to restart one more time. I assume this is just because uh, some programs and services which it has, or modifications, require it to. So we're just going to wait for that to happen. There we go. Time before shut down one second. And it's going to reboot again. Alright, so we're in. I'm assuming this is the extent of uh, micro XP. So down here we've got some link to services, a browser, and a show desktop button as you do. Commonly found on a uh, Windows Vista and uh, XP systems. So it's just a very very basic look here. We've got just a plain black desktop, no themes, no extra stuff. We've got the experience folder here which is going to check out. And this appears to be all of the uh, extra things you can install along with uh, micro XP. But we're actually just going to go straight into Task Manager and check out the performance of this thing. So as you can see, we've got there's 15 processes running right now. If we go over to Performance and we can check uh, the current stats. So you can see we've got 15 processes running, 185, 186 threads. Um, we're using very, very minimal CPU usage, like the idle, the idlings are very, very low. And we're using I'm using very, very minimal RAM too, as you can see there. So overall, a very, very well-performing operating system, considering its age and its uh, and its optimizations. So uh, it appears here in the experience folder we have a web browser. So we've got browser.exe. We're going to check this out quickly and see how this works. Um, let's go to a test website. Let's go to run.com and check this out. I'm not sure if we have any network connection. So we've got down here. We've got our we've got our uh, we've got our volume there, and we're just gonna be going and trying to let's try and get this um try and get this working. Try and get the internet working. So let's uh, go down to where's networking network connections LAN. Yeah, it appears that we're connected. It just doesn't want to um doesn't want to work. Let's try and run a quick um. DNS quickly. All right, let's go back and try this again. Nope, it's not working. Doesn't appear to want to go for it. Let's see if it works. Um, see if it works within here. Let's see if we can ping Google server. Yeah, so it appears we can get internet connection now. Uh, just pinging to a server. It just appears that this default browser here is not working, which is a shame. So I guess if you wanted to uh, have some. Some better support uh, with the internet, you'd have to go and install, uh, uh, well, Internet Explorer, God forbid. Or maybe something a bit newer, such as Firefox. Uh, I'm assuming that Chrome or something newer like that will not run. But we've got Windows Media Player here, so we can... Oh, uh, yeah, we can't go and download that because we haven't got anything associated as a browser. So as far as usability goes, 
it's not that usable. Uh, in this day and age, uh, Windows XP in itself, it's lost support, so probably not the safest operating system to use anymore. Uh, even this uh, modified version here, Micro XP, seems to be so stripped down on the ground. So just going through these files here, we can see um, a thank you letter, um, and although a thank you, uh, a thank you text document rather, and a summary of the OS here. As you can see, this is uh, all the stuff I mentioned at the beginning with what it does does not work. Uh, we've got desktop icon layout. We can restore that. Yes. I'm assuming we have to reboot for that to take effect. So driver install. This is just for drivers. So there's that. That's pretty interesting. Keyboard settings, shrink XP. I'm assuming that that's, um, that's to make uh, Windows XP more lightweight. But yeah, so as far as usability goes, it's not that usable. If you wanted to install something just to run some very basic programs on, this could be a could be a viable operating system. But apart from that, uh, it's not that well suited. Um, a better operating system, however, would be uh, another one which I've checked out, uh, Tiny7, which is made by... I believe it's made by the same guy, Experience, um, and it's basically a stripped-down version of Windows 7, of course with much better support, networking support. Uh, it still has relative uh, amounts of support from Microsoft, although I believe Windows 7's uh, support is coming to an end soon. So if you want to go check that out, I recommend you do so. But yeah, so it's been a fun old time just uh, checking out Windows XP, uh, Micro XP rather, and all its performance and in sundry. So yeah, uh, thank you all for checking out this video. Uh, if you liked it, uh, please leave a like. If you want to see more operating system videos like this, uh, please subscribe. I plan on making quite a few more of these because it's uh, something I'm quite interested in. So yeah, thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.